If you use RAM or AM in your designs and with your developers, um, you want to hand it off to them in, in those terms and not just pixels. Um, so they don't have to be calculating it or you be calculating it and then um, writing it um, all manually. So you will need this measure plugin um, installed in, in your Figma. And it's going to be really easy to, to make this uh, say the RAM value or maybe the pixel and the RAM value. <clears throat> and the M, it depends on what you would um, decide with your developer and your company. And um, it's the same thing as you would do for, for the RAM, in this case, for how to hand, hand it off and how to red, red line it. So um, I'm just going to boot the, pl the plugin here. So off the bat, if you select something in the plugin and you click these lines here, it kind of adds the, the measurements for you. And by default, it's in pixels. So I'm just going to undo here. Um, the really like the where the magic happens with this plugin is in this units um, area right here. So basically, the plugin helps you or lets you do math calculations or complex patterns. Uh, and multiply or divide things um, by um, just writing it down here. And it's really simple. All you need is like basically the dollar sign is the number. Like if you're like um, the, just it's just to show like if you, if you wanna show a number, you have to put the dollar sign. And then the hashtag means how many decimal values are, um, do you want to do so here it says hashtag symbol indicates the number of digits after the decimal point so it's very well written here and it's easy to understand um, so basically what we want if your ram if the ram is 16 the ram is by uh, decided by the browser uh, on the root like usually it's 16 which is like pretty standard today for like font sizes for example um, and so if you want to make this say RAM instead of, oh well now I, I think, oh there you go, say RAM instead of pixels, um, all you have to do is when you're down here, so all you have to do is put a dollar sign and let me see here, just put it on so we can see what, what's, what's happening down here, um, all right so I'll write pixel here and then do like an equal sign or maybe this, just a dash and this is gonna show our um, RAM value. So in this case, the pixel doesn't have any decimal. Hopefully you're not using any pixels that, that are broken numbers and are, they're all like um, full numbers. Um, and also the other thing that I forgot to mention, you, you need to have those within the parentheses. So for the RAM, all we have to do is we wanna show a number, so we, should, we do the dollar sign again. And then for RAMs, usually I do two hashtags, like ma maximum like two uh, digits after the decimal point. And then usually it's 16, so I'm gonna do divided by 16, close the parentheses, and it's already telling me 2.5, 2.5 what? And I just write it here, RAM. So same thing it would be with the M, you would just like change to whatever number, and just change this to M. Uh, I use RAMs because um, we're using uh, Tailwind at uh, my work. So uh, after you have this form formula here, um, if it's not saved, once you like you start using it a little bit, it's just gonna stay saved for all of the stuff. So if I just kind of select all of these and paste the formula here, and then one click, I get the measurement of all of them, and this saves so much time when you're like redlining things to to hand off. And this plugin is amazing for that. So another thing that you can do here is kind of like the distance between the children to the parent. Uh, so you can do something like this. Actually, that didn't really work. Um, I'm not sure why. I, I think actually, okay. So the parent is actually the the auto layout here. So from this parent to the other parent, um, which is the Gizmo UI here, that should work. Yep. Cool. So it's basically three RAMs here. Uh, that's the padding and then if I want to do the measurement of the whole thing I can do that and if I want to add a little bit more spacing you can do like this um, increase that point over there 
and that's basically it like this this plugin is really awesome i use this all, all the time and uh, even for the text it has this like nice bubbles that it shows you everything and you can control it from here too uh, what you want to show what you don't want to show um, and it's really cool like you can if you select more than one uh, one element for example if i select this one and this it shows me this little dash line that I can select and it will kind of show me the distance between it, the siblings basically um, and then it can also like I didn't do it here but you could change the different colors for that uh, only, not only uh, uh, that one measurement uh, it can do all sorts of things like for example if I want to show what this copy wrapper is I can kind of like select either like dash lines and and do something like that or change it to something like this uh, and I can change the opacity here how like how much I want um, you can just do like an outer line both or it's really cool like it this plugin saves me so much time when like when I'm handing off things to developers um, but yeah I hope this was helpful to you and if you learn anything please uh, drop a like or a comment below if you have any questions uh, yeah see you in the next one Thanks.